These are today's Jeopardy highlights. From Essex Fells, New Jersey, Charlotte Cook. Originally from Pennington, New Jersey, Nick Kaoki Kilstein. And our returning champion from Walla Walla, Washington, David Sibley. Good luck. Let's jump into the game, shall we? Here are the categories we have for you in the Jeopardy round. Literary Professions 4. The answer there is the Daily Double. You found it right away, David. In the beginning, as we would say in your line of work, you can wager up to 1,000. Wager 1,000. Here's your clue in Literary Professions. Wang Lung, when we meet him in The Good Earth. What is a farmer? He is a farmer. You're correct. What's Pakistan? Right. What is Ken Ken? Yes, yes. What is Catch Me If You Can? That's the movie. What's the Kennedy half dollar? Yes. What's an olive branch? That's correct. Takes you to $8,000. You and Charlotte are off to a great start. Nick, you'll get out of the hole in no time in Double Jeopardy. You'll see. We had cash as a category in the Jeopardy round, but there's so much more cash in Double Jeopardy. Here are your categories. 19th century, 2000. The answer there is the first Daily Double in the round. You're 3,000 off the lead, Charlotte. 2,000. Okay. Born almost with the century in 1800, he was executed in 1859 on charges including treason against Virginia, though he wasn't a Virginian. Who is John Brown? That's correct. You have 10,200. Uh, non nice science guys, 400. Around 1800, William Nicholson and Anthony Carlyle used a voltaic pile to decompose water into these two elements. David? What are hydrogen and oxygen? Yeah. Who's Fahrenheit? Yes. Who is Niels Bohr? You are correct. Science, 2000. The answer there. It's a daily double. 4,000. All right, here's your clue in non ni science guys. This American found variable stars in the Andromeda Nebula, helping him figure its distance from Earth and getting it renamed a galaxy. Who is Hubble? That's correct. You add $4,000 and you ran that category. What is Puma? Sure, or cougar or mountain lion. <laughs> what is safety net? That is correct, and those two correct responses provide a safety net for you as we head into Final Jeopardy. Today we're dealing with world airports in Final Jeopardy, and here's the clue. Africa's two busiest passenger airports are in these two countries. It's an eight-hour flight between them. Nick Kaoki Kilstein in the middle and third place. What are Egypt and South Africa? That's correct, so you will add all 2,600, doubling your money, 5,200. Charlotte Cook was in second place. She wrote down Nigeria and Kenya. No, we know that's not correct. You wagered just $200, taking you to $10,000, because David Sibley, once again, could not be caught going into final jeopardy. Was he correct? What are Egypt and South Africa? It is, yesterday he didn't wager a thing. He does it again. Stands back with $22,400. And a two-day total of $44,200. Congratulations to you, sir. Zero the biblical wager, though, to be content with what you've been given. 10% might be the biblical <laughs> wager, I would say. Looking for more fun Jeopardy! videos? The smart thing to do would be to click the subscribe button below.